Hi, I'm Bronte Campbell, Olympic swimmer, plant lover, and WWF Australia partner. I asked my followers, what do you need to know about trees? And the questions we're trying to answer is, can trees save us? So today on Chats for Change, I'm here with a WWF tree expert and a doctor from Doctors for the Environment. Well, Stu, I've got a lot of questions for you. Why are trees so important for the planet? So trees do a lot of things for us. They're the gold medal champions of multitasking. They make oxygen. And doing so, they help reduce climate change by taking carbon out of the atmosphere. They're homes for wildlife. You can hear birds and there are koalas and gliders here. They all live in trees. Without trees, they have no home. They keep the soils healthy, stop the sediments washing off into streams or into the Graffari Reef. Trees are very important for indigenous communities, very important for farming systems. Dr. Kim, I'm so excited to talk to you. And what are some of the health benefits of having trees around? Small particulate matter from air pollutants actually increase the risk of strokes, diabetes, heart attacks, and can slow down the growth of babies. We know that air pollutants from cars, they can actually impair children with their working memory. Also increase the risk of asthma. Now trees can actually filter some of that pollution, and that's so important. And we know that trees clean water. Dr Kim, I know you work in Western Sydney and it's quite hot out there. Can you explain how that happens and how trees help with that? In Western Sydney we're sometimes 6 to 10 degrees hotter. Areas that were fields and farmland before are now covered with a sea of houses with dark roofs. The problem with urban heat islands is that they stay hot overnight. More people have died in Australia from heat waves than all other natural disasters combined. And we're building ovens in Western Sydney. So, you know, trees are so critical but thank you so much, Dr. Kim, and thank you, Stu. I certainly learnt a lot. Thank you to everyone who sent in all their questions and join us next time on the WWF Chats for Change to find out all the other ways we can make change in the world.